Oregon Health Watch. Now, many smokers use e-cigarettes to try and quit conventional tobacco smoking, mm -hmm. but popularity has also risen among those who have never smoked before. A new study from the Desert Research Institute and the University of Nevada gives some insight into these devices. Elizabeth Olvetta is live in the studio after speaking with the researchers, and Liz, this is something that they've been working on for quite some time. Yeah, Landon, about three years ago, they started studying the health effects of what's called vaping, and they told me they were surprised by what they found. You vape and generate the vapors. The popularity of e-cigarettes and vaping has exploded in recent years. A couple of years ago, the global market was over $7 billion. But there's been little agreement or evidence so far to determine their safety. Some people say, like, it's totally safe, it's great. Until now. A new study shows that significant amounts of carcinogens or cancer-causing chemicals are, in fact, absorbed by the user. What are the formaldehyde concentrations? Research professors analyzed the breath of more than a dozen e-cigarette users. Subjects were asked to breathe air into this bag before and after vaping to test aldehyde concentrations in their breath. So we switch the valve and it goes into the system where we collect the sample. Toxic aldehydes in exhaled breath of e-cigarette users are higher than in their breath without vaping. Additionally, the concentration of chemicals like formaldehyde in the user's breath was hundreds of times lower than what is found in a pure puff of direct e-cigarette vapors. So where does that dangerous carcinogen go? It stays in the lungs, in the respiratory tract. Approximately 99% of aldehydes were in the lungs because we compare concentration that were generated directly from e-cigarettes that they used versus the concentrations what they exhale during the experiment. So is vaping any safer than smoking? Experts say while they may be safer than conventional tobacco. In terms of formaldehyde emissions, they are as bad and sometimes even worse than conventional cigarettes. Researchers say e-cigarettes can be a useful tool to cut down on traditional smoking, but warn against using the device otherwise since it can cause nicotine addiction. Now, the professors told me much more research with larger sets of participants is needed to really understand the full health effects of vaping. They're applying for National Institute of Health grants to get more funding. Covering the story live in the studio, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.